Oh, hi again. It's Hal Chambers here from the RSC. We're here to do some more theatre games at home during the lockdown. Now, this next game is a kind of improv, um, and it's an acting game. This game's called Mafia. You can play this game with a minimum of four players, but more is preferable. Let's say you're playing this game with six players. In the beginning of the game, there'll be six pieces of paper, and they will be put into a hat. They are all blank apart from one of them, which has the letter M on it. Everybody takes a piece of paper out of the hat and secretly look at what is on the paper. For most players, it will be blank. They are villagers. But if you have drawn the M, keep it a secret because you have been cast as the Mafia. So at the beginning of the game, nobody knows who the secret Mafia member is. We all must live by the mantra, innocent until proven guilty. What happens at this point is that there is an initial discussion. Who's looking shifty? Who's the secret mafia member who's out to get us? Who can we trust? Because one out of the six players is a villain, somebody that we should be wary of, somebody who is a liar. You grill each other. It's a great acting game. Can I trust you? So if you're not the mafia, who is? I can tell you're the Mafia by just looking into your face. Really, if you're innocent, tell me a story. Come on, tell me the truth. Swear on your mum and dad's life that you're not the Mafia. And of course the responses will always be something like this. You can trust me, man. I'm not a secret Mafia member. It's her. She's guilty. It's him. What are you talking about, man? Like, I'm definitely not the Mafia, okay? Once the discussions have raged on, it's time to come to a unanimous decision. Who do you think the Mafia is? So, the players vote, and it is at that point we find out if the accused is innocent, they were a villager, or was in fact the Mafia. If you get the Mafia right, the game is over, you've won the game, you put the pieces of paper back in the hat and you start again. But if you have chosen the wrong person, the game continues. You continue to discuss who you think the Mafia is and you go to another discussion and then you vote again and hopefully you'll get it right next time. So, if you've been wrongly accused and you are out of the game, then you can stay in the discussions, but you cannot participate in any of the voting. So the aim of the game is to sniff out the Mafia in your midst. But of course, if you are the Mafia, the aim of the game is to go undetected, to pretend that you're innocent and people might believe you. The game will only end if the Mafia has been found out or if the Mafia has stayed right till the end of the game, into the final two. Why would we play this in rehearsals? Well, this game is a really fun long form improv game where actors get to hone their truthful skills of lying, essentially, and it creates a really good shared sense of play and we get comfortable working with each other and essentially one each other up and having a lot of fun. So hopefully at the end of playing Mafia, a company will always feel a little bit more like they've got to know each other and uh, legends are made, uh, the greatest liars are, are, are exposed. Good luck playing Mafia guys, remember innocent until proven guilty.